How's it going guys? Welcome back to some more Stormworks today. We're going to be carrying on with our logic block um, tutorials and uh, this time is the numerical switch box. So yeah. So the switch box can be found down in the logic tab in your component inventory, same as the PID. And in the game, uh, actually physically, it takes up two by two by one blocks. So obviously take this into consideration um, if you're building small vehicles. So the switch box has four nodes, one of which is an output and three of which are numbers. We have a first value on, second value off, switch signal, which is an on off, and a switch value, which is your output. I'll explain these um, in more detail later on in the video. Okay, so as you just saw, I built this little example uh, right here. And so we have our switch box and we have a compact robotic, robotic pivot. And what this is going to do is when we turn this button on, the idea is that it's going to go um, clockwise, it's going to turn. And when we turn it off, it's going to go um, back to where it was, um, which is uh, a good example of a switch box actually because say this is a door maybe um, you know you can use switch boxes for doors uh, so let's actually get that out of the way because we don't want to get confused here and there is two more things we're going to need um, before we get this and that's just going to be a number um, constant number here pretty simple all you, all you do it's got one number output and you can set that here and we're actually going to set that as a 1 because the way this um, pivot works is if it has a 1 then it's going to go clockwise this way and if it has a minus 1 it's going to go clock, uh, anti-clockwise that way pretty simple so we want our button to switch the signal from off which is going to be 0 or you can just leave that because default is 0 if there's nothing going to it and then on is going to be our one and that goes to our pivot so all we've done is linked up this button's going to be switching uh, what this value is going to be so if this is not off it's going to be the off value if it's on then it's going to be the on value so this just changes between these two when you press this simply um, yeah, so we'll get our battery and just chuck that in, uh, and I'll show you how it works. Let's battery these up again. Get okay, spawn it on. Let's come over here. So as you can see, if we press the button, our pivot will turn clockwise, and we turn it off, and it will go back to where it was. Pretty simple. And this obviously can be used for so much because um, all it is is just a switch between one value and another. So you can use it for just a whole bunch of stuff. So yeah. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that video. I uh, hope you learned something about the numerical switch box. Um, and obviously go ahead, add this to your vehicles. You can do a whole lot of stuff like, you know, switching between altitude hold and not altitude hold, like I mentioned in the PID video. Um, and you can just do, you know, turn lights off, switch between which lights you want on and not, and just, it's brilliant guys. So, uh, if you did enjoy and learned something, do hit the subscribe, because I'm going to be having lots more logic uh, tutorials coming. Uh, your way and um, that's all I've really got to say so uh, have a have a good one